Hey, it's me, Hover. So last time, Kira Metz said she wanted to ask me a favor whenever I'm free. The rules are you don't keep a hot witch in distress waiting for too long. And as the main story surely can wait a day or two, I got here pretty much right away. Turns out she wants to investigate this Fike Island with a mage tower on it. Alright, not exactly the favor I had in mind, but sure, I will do it. Who knows, maybe in return she will also investigate a certain tower of mine. Anyway, I set sail for the island and right away I see loads of monsters in there. Great. I also have a magic walkie-talkie, so Kira can talk to me if I'm too scared. This doesn't work too well as it gets some weird interference from this 5G tower close by. Remember the lamp from the last time? Kira gave it to me because for whatever reason she knows I might need to talk to some ghosts, which is very reassuring. I must say though it is pretty handy as I'm able to glimpse certain pieces of memories of what happened here. The tower is full of rants which I really should have seen coming given the quest is called Tower Full of Mice. Apparently these villagers or whoever it was came here for some sort of revenge against the nobles who lived here. The Lord and his daughter Annabelle as well as Alexander the mage. Well, let's keep going to the top to see what the hell is going on here. Also, I buff up my witcher ego on some rats on my way there. There seems to be laboratory of sorts on the highest level with one final ghost, but this one is different as it actually talks to me directly. Turns out it is the Lord's daughter Annabelle. From what I understand, the nobles hid in the tower when the peasants attacked. Alexander gave Annabelle a special potion and said to drink it, everything would be alright. Now how could that ever not work out? Just kidding, she drank what seems to be a powerful sleeping potion, so the villagers would think she is already dead and leave her be. The problem is they slaughtered everybody else and let the rats out of their cages. When Annabelle woke up, she was still partially paralyzed, being eaten alive by those rats. Now I'm no expert, but that doesn't seem like a great way to die. This Annabelle was in love with Grant one of the common folk who tried saving her but failed as there were too many of them. I try suggesting she could forgive him which could lift the curse and let her finally leave this tower. She gives me her bones, which is nice, and says to find Graham. He needs to bury the bones to show his true love. Well, it sounds simple enough. When I arrive at the fisherman's village, I'll make a complete idiot out of myself, failing to exit a boat, but hopefully no one saw that, so we're cool. Graham seems like a nice guy. Still thinks she drank the poison though, so yeah, a bit of a shock for him, I imagine. I don't want to be suspicious suspicious, but I don't like the look of that news hanging in the background. I give him the bones and leave him because what could go wrong, right? I already plan out my next journey when I hear the scream, so I run back to the hut to see Annabelle killing him and a swarm of rats. Now that her bones are off the island, the curse is broken and she is free to roam the world. I'm sure nothing bad can come out of this, right? Let's look to the future as I rush towards Kira to tell her I fixed the problem and hoping for a reward, she instead asks me to fetch a package she ordered that got lost somewhere along the way. <laughs> Package. Of course, I'm a professional, so tracking this thing is no problem at all. On my way there, I kill some bandits, and it turns out the wagon is full of wine, meat, and all kinds of non-magic stuff. When confronting Kira with this, she says rather than explaining, she would show me, so the game has definitely piqued my attention. I wait outside, and honestly, I'm a bit surprised when Kira comes out, transforms three mice into two horses, and says she wants to do a picnic, just like Cinderella. Now, I don't remember when there was a picnic involved in that fairy tale, but let's not get hung up on the details, okay? Turns out to be a nice night after which we engage in some light reading and then look at the stars together as she puts me to sleep with a spell. Ah yes, just like the old days. You see, I made the mistake of telling her that I didn't burn Alexander's research in the tower, so I think I know where the cheeky blondie went. I managed to convince her not to go to King of Redania with this, but instead go to Kaer Morhen, where she will be safer and also have a bit cleaner bed than here in the swamp, but only if she subscribed to Hoverlord. Oh yeah, and also I take the notes from her. Well anyway, this was all from me for today. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again next week on Witcher Wednesday. Have a good one.